All right, guys, what's going on? So, day two of the Taylor Swift Scorpion project, uh, trying to pretty much bring him back from the brink of death. And so far, seems to be working. He's got an attitude now, but he's still not moving a whole lot, and I have blood on my face. Nice. Um, but he is eating. He's getting very defensive. Anytime I start poking around, he will throw his arms at me, but he's still not moving his legs. But it is getting fat, which is awesome. So the fact that it's getting fat shows me that it's gaining weight. You know, you're, eating, you're trying to eat your own claw, right, brother? Um, so what I've just done here is I have taken one of the uh, spike maggots, which we're taking more up uh, at the local bait shop today. And uh, I've just taken the pupa, and I've just popped open a little bit of it, and here is some sort of strand. You can somewhat see it that he was eating off of. Watch this, watch this. Squeeze it. Right back in, like nothing there. Hey, what's going on? But I am hand feeding him. Mainly because he isn't catching food on his own. And if I try to feed him crickets, it's going to be dangerous. Because crickets will attack other insects. And if they get hungry enough, if they are hungry enough, they'll eat him. And plus, I'm out of crickets apparently. So I have to go anyway today to pick up some more, and not like it matters much to this guy. He's already gra he's grabbing the food in his own finally. Uh, he takes him a few seconds to really get a hold of it, but he's good once he gets a hold of it. Oh, I dropped the food chip. He didn't grab it. Um, but he is doing a lot better, and. I have another new pet I gotta show you guys. Here's my little invention to kind of help him eat, since he isn't really strong right now. So, it is a... Uh, I did, I used to have Postal Therias, but I ended up giving them all to my buddy. I had Postal Theria, Rufaladas, and uh, I had the Goody Ornamental Sapphire. I think that's Postal Theria, isn't it? Is that what you asked for, Postal Theria? Yeah. But yeah, this is the little invention right here. And these guys are nocturnal, so I have left them in the dark. But as you can see, it's nothing more than a paper clip. Lid to a super glue bottle, and then straight through the insect into his mouth. And he is eating it. And his butt is starting to get thick on me, so that's awesome. Yeah, vinegar runes, man. They they can get a hold of you. My little one got a hold of me, and he he put some damage on my finger. Let's he he it hurt a lot worse than I thought it would. Let's be absolutely going for you. And right now he's in a terrestrial setup because he's not climbing. Uh, so I really just kept him in this overnight. I kept watering him predominantly through the night, and I kept giving him food every so often. There is a baby centipede in my aquarium. So that's the thing. I'll take him over here to the 55 and feed him to the frog. That's where I got my little frog now is in the 55 gallon. If he's still alive, which I have some floating. I think I have some dead in my aquarium. Let me look real quick. That shouldn't be a thing right now. Are you serious? It's my banjo. What the fuck? Oh, man, come on. You were just eating last night when I fed everybody. Oh, God damn it. Ooh, the water condition changed on me. Yeah, gum it. Oh, what was the last banjo I had? I'm not buying anymore. I've lost three. It's not, it's not, it's not, it's useless at this point. But, I have a new reptile. I'm just going to gently undo the lid. Whoa, and she's already out and running. Jesus Christ. Relax, sweetheart. Relax. So here we have a hypomelanistic leatherback silky, or a silky leatherback bearded dragon. 
Now, my buddy Nick sold me this last night for 50 bucks, for 40 bucks. And she is absolutely a little cutie. It's like she can't get a grip. Weird. But she's yellow, she has clear nails, she's got the hypomelanistic color too already. She's got blue rings underneath her whenever she's warmed up. She is warm, but she's not warm warm. Yeah, I can see him coming through a little bit. You can really see the blue on this side of her though. I have to go out today and pick up the uh, other supplies for her because I bought a light for her and I actually bought it for the turtles and then I remembered, hey, I'm supposed to get a bearded dragon once I got home so I have to go out today and pick up a lamp, two lamps and uh, I have to pick up a water, a water bowl, which I have water bowls. Um, I just have to grab a few things from the local store so or depending on where you're from, the local shop. And I have to go to my bait store today that I get all my freaking feeders from. And uh, I'm potentially either going to be being sponsored by them to help sponsor their uh, business since Westside Bait and Tackle is gone. They're the only place in Indianapolis now to buy your uh, your fishing supplies, which is the Bait Barn. Um, I can never remember the address. Um, but it's, uh, it's just right here over here on the east side. Um, there we go. Uh, but I talked to them a couple days ago and they wanted me to hook up with them today so I have to go over there at some point. I lost the boy's number so I'm just going to call the shop and let them know, hey, you know, shoot me your number real quick or is this it? No, it's a, that's the receipt. I took it out of my pants pocket, and I think I was in the bathroom when I did it. Oh, is that it? No, it's another receipt. Oh, damn, I bought so much shit here recently. What's in these pockets? Anything in these pockets? We're playing what's in the freaking pocket. Nope, nothing. Okay. Um. There we go. But, yeah, they either, they want help with... You have no tail. I have a guppy that has no tail. It looks like it might be fungal. Okay. Uh, no one else seems to have anything wrong with him, so maybe he just got his tail chewed off by the mollies or something. Uh, it's not really a good thing anyway, so... I don't know the cricket leg got in there, but the shrimp seems like it, so I'm going to leave it in there. But, uh, they want to hook up. They want to talk about me doing videos for them. Uh, they want to, pretty much me and my dad helped it to show them how to edit videos and things like that. What is that? Kind of like a puffball and some trail tank that needs to come out so they eat it and get backed up. Um, oh, I forgot to put a chicken water in there last night. I think we're coming up for me. We ended up going to the casino last night. I've only been there twice. Indiana Grand Casino and I walked out. I went in with 60 bucks, walked out with 106. So, I came ahead a little bit. Turtles are hiding inside of the uh, thing. Well, the one just jumped the fuck out. You need to be careful because there's hair inside this thing, so I have to take it out. As you guys can see, here they are. Those two little guys. Styrofoam, not styrofoam, uh, yeah, something like that. So he's still up here munching away. He's moving around a bit. Damn bearded dragons underneath it freaking out. Uh, but yeah. 
So the hand rearing seems to be working. I'm not going to say it's going to be a, a 100% success, but I'll tell you right now, we're at a 50% success rate. Um, he's eating everything I've given him. He's, he, he even ate on his own last night. Like, I had a cricket in there that I fed him, and he had a hold of it, had it grabbed, and was eating it. And it's actually still in here. A little bit, but he ate out all the, he ate out 90% of the entrails. So, definitely not a bad thing. So I went and downloaded some games offline for my phone. And it didn't tell it didn't say anything about it. I had to download to a laptop. So I have ten dollars worth of games that are useless to me uh, unless I get unless I get my laptop up and running. So that's what I'm going to try to do today: is find my laptop, find the components for it, so I can play these games. Nothing really too interesting. Um, let me check on the betas real quick because I did lose my female, I did lose one of my uh, crown tails last night. My female crown tail. I'm 90% certain I'm going to lose uh, one of the male betas just because he's wanting to face up to the surface a lot more than he should. Alive, 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 alive. All these guys are alive. So that's all awesome. And I've had these guys too close together. I forgot about them and they've been displaying each other for a couple of days now. So their fins are nice and fucked up. Look at that stuff. I've got my damn pictures in it. I don't know how it felt. Right here is whenever I put it inside the 20 gallon long, it just mucks up the water real bad. The 55, I think the fish eat all of it, but the 20 gallon they don't, so it's a bit more of a pain. I did feed the beer, I thought I did feed I fe what? Yeah, speaking of Walmart, here we go. We're going to Walmart now. These things smell weird. It's not like a bad weird. And there we go. Just squeeze out the goo from our shell and give it to him. The calcium is definitely going to come in handy, so we will get some of the calcium from the shell that crushed up with the goo. Uh, it won't be a whole lot, but it will be enough. And what are you doing, Mister? Taking underwater? Dude? Now, I went out and I bought a 60 watt bulb for the turtles, and I hope that's going to be enough. Ooh, a 25 watt would have been better. Because from 18 inches away, it's only 72. From the 60 watt, it's 77. So that means I'm going to have to angle it towards one side of the tank. Which means, yeah, I'm definitely going to have to go out and buy a lamp for this. Uh, it's not one that I can set on top. So, I need to put him back inside of his little container. Let him continue to eat. Um, I predominantly keep giving him water. Just dip it on my finger and put it in his mouth. And he takes it down very easily. So, I'm not too worried about him on that aspect. And even when he stops eating, he starts getting slow. Oh, God. Jesus Christ. I've been commenting like crazy. Yeah. No, not here. Not here. People think their normal bearded dragon is worth $150 as a baby. So, they they tend to get their shit backwards here in Indiana. Because, uh, you know, baby bearded, adult bearded dragon, I'll give you 50 bucks for it if it's a normal. 
If it's a morph, depending on the morph, 60 to 100. If it's a good morph, 2 to 400 if necessary. I'm not spending $400 or $200 on Pumpkin Dragon, so no. Uh, but, I mean, for just, for being what it is, a silky leatherback, hypo, uh, hypo, what did I say? Hypo melanistic? Damn, he ate out everything. Look at this. Gone. I'm gonna, I'm gonna skewer it again and just give him the exoskeleton. Let him mow on that. Oh, he still has a mouthful. Only one, and my nails are dirty from messing with the truck over here. Um, but yeah, forty bucks. My buddy's like, you want? I'm like, sold. The day before I got paid, I was like, sold. Actually, it was the day I got paid. The day we got paid. So, what you guys been commenting real quick? Um, my recommendation is underground reptiles. Everybody else will say otherwise. I've never had I've never had a problem with them, and any problems that I did really have, which weren't very weren't big, like little problems, like oh legs are crooked, you know, oh this one seems a little wonky, you know. Anytime you do something like that, they'll reimburse you for your fee. You send pictures with it, they'll even give you your money back or send you a new damn spider. You don't have to ship the spider back. You can get two spiders for the price of one if there's something wrong with the spider you have using. Yeah. The ones around here, though, they don't. Went in yesterday, went to the Noblesville Reptile Expo, which is where I picked up all these guys except for the Breeder Dragon. They had just normal Breeder Dragons. They wanted $60 for them. And it's like, okay, these are babies. So they're not really worth 60 I can go to a local pet store and buy them for 30 Depending on if they have them or not. F what? But yesterday when we went, I was so aggravated because they had... You guys remember the red tail green rat snake I had? The one that was like 7 feet long and really aggressive. The one I loved that I got for free along with the uh, California King Snake. They had one at the booth. And this is supposed to be the big head honcho of the expo. And it's like his red tail green rat snake was skinnier than mine was before it died. Okay, skinnier than when I got it first, okay? All you could see was bones and skinniness. There was no meat to the snake whatsoever. Nine-tenths of his reptiles were like that. Nine-tenths of his snakes like that. If it wasn't a high-dollar animal, it wasn't in good condition. If it wasn't over $200, it looked like shit. Plain and simple. And they had big-ass bearded. They had big-ass lizards. Big-ass iguanas, I mean. And they had a six and a half foot, seven foot male iguana, about 25 or 30 pounds. This thing was a hog. They had it wedged inside of a 20 gallon long. Dude couldn't even move. Wild caught, had a knot on the back of his hip bone. His legs were stuck out, which shows that his legs weren't been working. He was selling it for 40 bucks. And they had, oh my God, they had a red female. Solid red female, nice as can be, around five and a half feet long, maybe four and a half at best, for $150. If I had the room, I'd have jumped on her because I spent almost that much. Well, my M-Bow 4, it was 60. This dude was 20. Those guys were $10 a piece, and the feeders cost me three bucks. Yeah, something like that. But I'm just stating this now. If this guy right here does not make it, which I'm hoping he really does, I'm praying that he freaking does. If he does not make it, I am getting on going on underground reptiles and I am buying two of them at least. I'm gonna get at least two of them, and they're like thirty dollars a piece, so I mean thirty dollars, sixty, seventy dollars usually. Uh they're usually like 30, there's like forty dollars, so eighty dollars for two of them, along with thirty nine dollars shipping. So around a hundred and something dollars is what it would take me to get these guys shipped to my house the next day. Uh, that does not include the heat packs, which are around like four or five dollars. So, they're just temporary. I can throw paper towels.
to allow them to stay damp, but not allow them to dry out. Um, I forgot I was talking about shit. <laughs> The problem with underground reptiles is all of their stuff, uh, insect-wise, I know personally is indeed wild caught, which isn't a problem in my opinion. But at the same time it is, because the more we take out of nature, the less and less there is, unless something that just breeds rapidly like spiders. Yeah, cave spiders, they have those, that's what these are, they're known as tailless whoop scorpions too. But, I definitely would like a good pair of them, uh, a good breeding pair, just a good pair in general, maybe two females, not two males, they battle, so two females definitely. Um, because there's something I've always wanted, even as a kid, seeing on TV, I'm like, that's cool, I want that, and now I have one, and he's in, he's in rough shape, uh, but hopefully with the time, the energy that I'm expending, uh, helping make sure he feeds every couple of hours, which is called overkill, but at the same time, I really want to bulk him up, um, and like a tarantula, man, they, they, they drink and eat and eat and eat and eat as much as they want, and they'll stop when they want to stop, uh, yes, they are communal, actually. Which is surprising. You'd think they wouldn't be, but they are. Uh, as long as you don't have two males, you're fine. But you can have one male and a bunch of females. Females won't fight. Males will. And uh, judging from the size of the arms on this one, I'd say it's a female. I forgot that because males have these extravagantly long arms that stick off. Like even at, even at this size, he should have freaking three inch, three inch. Uh, they're not pincers. They're not. They're three inch appendages in the front of his body, and this probably has like. An inch and a quarter, if it's lucky. Probably about that much stuck out. Very little, so probably about two inches at best. So I'd, I'd, I'd safely assume that this is a female, because uh, even juveniles, males, are, males have bigger and longer ones than the females do. So that's the thing. Um, but this centipede's bugging me. I'm gonna take it and put it in the tank back here with the uh, come here, dude. Put the frog real quick. I don't think I've seen the frog eat one time yet. I think the frog didn't tell us though. He's still he's still kicking. Whenever I talk about underground, underground reptiles, you know, people get really shitty at me because they're like, oh, they're so bad. No, no, backwater reptiles is bad. Underground reptiles is everything they can to help their customers out. I don't have one bad word to say about underground reptiles. Yeah, they don't grow very fast, but females mature out quicker than the males do, but... I don't, I don't see how it is because males mature out at a smaller size than the females do, but yet the males mature at a slower rate, but they're much larger than the females are. It just it, It's all confusing. It really is. Or maybe I have it backwards. Maybe the male... I think the males will mature out faster than the females should, wouldn't they? That's how everything is. The boys always mature quicker. And something gave birth to guppies in the aquarium. Nice. Uh, Oh, I have a couple babies out here right now. And they are now officially inside the breeder box. I just saved guppy lives. Guppy lives matter. I'm going to get some shit for saying guppy lives matter. Oh, there's another guppy. Shit. Molly's going to smack him up. There's no way I think I, I don't think I can get him. I can spook him. Then maybe, but I think he's just coming to the world right now, brother. I'm going to try to save him, guys. Where is he? There he is. So if I can get to him quicker, I should be able to save him before a molly spots him or a guppy. Because these guys are fresh. They're just born. They're so damn tiny. Oh, there's two of them. Shit. Uh, I've got to do this ever so quickly. The best part is they won't go down. They always stay at the surface. And we got him. Somehow some freaking eco earth got inside of here. All right, so whatever guppies are in here after I leave are pretty much SOL at this point. Um, I don't see any more, but that doesn't mean there isn't any more, you know? But 
All right, guys, just another quick look at him. So just in this temp setup, since he isn't really able to hold on to anything, that's why he's in terrestrial instead of arboreal at the moment, but he should be good for this. And he should be good in here for a while until I can actually get him up to health where he needs to be to where he's actually moving and holding on and, you know, real feisty like he is getting now. So, um, I gotta get off here. I gotta go to Walmart. So see you guys in a little bit. Go to like, comment, subscribe, and, uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Later.